designed thinking thinking is another aspect of design you know because thinking is where it thinking is going to happen and how thinking is uh, going to be connected to this term design you know so um, the, uh, thinking is a uh, lot to do with thought okay and a designer thought the cognitive thing you know the thought is a cognitive function a thought and actions intended to change thoughts and actions you know here change thoughts here change thoughts of the user you know so many times designers in insurance also try to change the culture uh, how people used to and how people will be in future so it changes behavior sometimes uh, to uh, users uh for the better is always good sometimes uh it also poses some difficulties or it may pose some danger also so it's very important to look at uh, interventions of design which are carefully done not to uh, have uh, you know harmful effect I means that can also happen for example uh, you know human beings are not designed to sit you know they say in the modern days uh, uh, sitting is the smoking uh, is uh, like a uh, new age smoking you know why they say that because we are not actually uh, designed for sitting but because we have uh, chairs everywhere you tend to sit you know and sit and sit and sit and that is not good for you so probably uh, we should think of uh, uh, things which will Uh, help us get away from sitting how you have uh, you know uh, people who are smoking uh, or uh, taken uh, you know they are trained to leave it you know, something like that so basically design process is like a black box there is an input and uh, what happens inside we don't know and you get an output so this is a cerebral function which happens and uh, same thing is given here initial state the final state you know current situation to desired situation what happens in between is the design design is a mantan of uh, transformation okay it's all about uh, finding new answers new problem uh, new solutions and in that solution get get, get the best one which is uh, optimal and that's how you get the future state and uh, it's very important when we think of this uh how to synthesize synthesizing happens with the human um, uh, you know thoughts and in each one of us no uh, we are having three types of egos okay that is one is called the parent and the second one is called the adult and uh, the third one is called the child and it is the child state of mind uh that is going to be most uh, useful for designing so because children are curious they are playful they are creative they are spontaneous uh, are rebellious uh, tantrums they will throw uh, they are difficult to work with then they also suffer from a great insecurity okay so uh, children uh, this uh, it's not children it is about the state of uh, mind okay ego state of mind Uh, is the most creative you know in fact uh, this is the scientist who is a psychologist who proposed this transactional analysis and uh, we see how in the child also we have little professor conforming child adopted child rebellious child and free child so these are different manifestations of child depending on their conditions okay if uh, they are uh, having a very strict mother they will become a conforming child they always uh, you know uh, do whatever told adapted child is little tactful but uh, he also follows very much like a conforming child a rebellious child is one who does opposite things and uh, a little professor is the child which has uh, quick actions without any uh, anything said you know the free child is the one which is a natural child which uh, uh dances it sings it plays it cries everything that is a free child i think all of us 
have a free child in us, whatever may be your age. Okay. So, but you're in, uh, in the act of design, if you're in, you should uh, don this hat of a child. Because only child is uh, a very creative, very playful. Uh, it doesn't uh, design as a unique uh, way of thinking dots and acting. And uh, it's a, it doesn't not evaluate thinking. thinking. You know, it's a unique way of thinking. It. So and, uh, it is uh, really telling that it is something design. not uh, normal. Like people always go in, all follow a particular known path. Designers will tread a, a path with uh, very few or there is no path. They make their own roads. Okay. Does not have a long, well-developed scholarly history of this, the connection between design and thinking. You know? uh, like uh, you have other intellectual tradition like science, art, you know, they have been considered to be uh, as a uh, well-defined uh, you know, um, subjects, uh, whereas design thinking and design itself is not very old you know, as a thought. And so it's sometimes difficult to uh, find support to this. Moving forward, what is the difference between natural sciences and design? Natural sciences are concerned with how things are, while design is concerned with how things ought to be. And devising, uh, you know, uh, devising things which are going to meet those goals. That is very, very important. Things ought to be is the, the, the key word here. And the natural things like physics, chemistry and other sciences, they are going to study nature as it art makes statements, designs work. So this is the difference between M.A. Fusain and a designer. M.A. Fusain, uh, you know, makes a bold uh, art statement like uh, abstract, you know, the horse running and all, the savage horses running, uh, stating it is connected to the mind, the thoughts, you know, uh, all that. Uh, but uh, when you say design, it is uh, to demonstrate how it works, you know, uh, how it solves somebody's problem. So these are two different, uh, very important differences. But this particular uh, graffiti here, uh, very clear, nicely says what it is. Art is all about creating culture. Science is creating knowledge. Design is creating a meaning. And engineering is creating solutions. Like uh, what we see here at Bridge. Designers are change agents in society. Why they are change agents? Because they think differently. They bring a new culture. Their goal is to improve the human condition in all its aspects through physical change. You know, so man never settled for caves. You know, he wanted to have a built environment, and so we have uh, today's habitat, wherein uh, we see uh, so many uh, iteration changes, and uh, uh, so far whatever progress man has made, it's all because of such. Uh, change. The posted here, it's not about uh, the glamour involved uh, in looking at those uh, uh, abstract papers hanging on the wall. It is about uh, the process, you know, of how we can park uh, various uh, attributes, uh, needs, uh, pretend to use them, and able to tackle them. That strategy is design thinking. So, uh, looking at the way design thinking has progressed over the years, uh, first it was proposed to have design science, just like uh, physics, chemistry, anything. Design is a science. So, because, uh, you know, in the, uh, what do you call, earlier days, science was most respected. Social sciences were not respected uh, until uh, they were added with this, uh, uh, you know, uh, term science, social science. You know, then we started getting some kind of a respectability. Uh, humanities and social sciences became uh, most respected because they, with the uh, application of science word. Uh, same way, design science started uh, taking uh, its uh, uh, shape in early 1950s. Then came way of thinking.
how way of thinking uh, defines you to uh, arrive at a novel idea, for example. Is there a uh, super extraordinary brain which works or there is a way of thinking that leads you to the particular solution is the main thing here. And then there was designerly ways. So designers uh, think in a different way. So this was yet another way of looking at it. Uh, designers who came out with novel things. And uh, so some people started looking at designers, how they think. What is designerly ways of thinking is uh, what came. Then came the design thinking. So let us see some of these uh, uh, people uh, under age. You know, it was uh, Buckmiller uh, Fuller. Uh, economist Nobel laureate who coined the word design science 1960s. Herbert A. Simon came out with uh, his writing on way of thinking and way of thinking uh, how it is going to help uh, you know arrive at uh, solutions. This was in 1970s, 1980s. You know Nigel Cross and uh, Jesse Jones. They also proposed, uh, they was, did a study on uh, various designers and uh, they saw a pattern, a trend and they came uh, to this, uh, uh, you know, uh, term called designerly ways of thinking. Okay. And uh, it was Peter Rowe who in 19, uh, 1987 started actually proposing a methodology looking at all this. Uh, called design thinking. Okay, that was very late in 1987. Uh, is uh, much much uh, way uh, into modern days. Uh, the term you know, design thinking came, but it was popularized by IDO and others. And what is design thinking is all about? See, when we say design, design is a kind of a individual's job. You sit in a corner, think of something. And uh, problem, okay, you have a problem and you come out with synthesis and you uh, design. You know. So design in that sense is uh, about technology and art put together. Okay. Whereas design thinking is about uh, teams. Okay. Design thinking is not about an individual. See, it's very important uh, point you should understand. Design thinking is about teams. And it is about business, and it is about also uh, people, uh, the user. So it concerns people, it concerns team, it concerns business, and that, that is design thinking. So what exactly design thinking does? It brings the teams together. What are the teams? A team of designer, a finance guy, a entrepreneur, a, a manufacturing guy a person who knows a customer or user, all of them come together. And what cement them together? Just like what you see in this uh, um, cartoon or a nice uh, illustration. Design thinking is a quick fix. It is the adhesive that cements the teams. Okay, that's very, very important way. Because many people don't know this. And what are the elements of design thinking? It is about uh, finding needs. Uh, then ideation, then prototyping, then uh, doing uh, improvements, that's called iteration, then asking questions uh, along with the user. You know, user asks questions, so you ask the user question. And the whole thing keeps uh, going back. Again, you're going to, uh, you say do loop actually. And uh, you can see this is what people, uh, IDO and all have uh, proposed and uh, all over the internet you can see something similar about design thinking process. It is about empathizing, defining, ideating, prototyping and testing. So when we say prototype here, it need not be always uh, a physical object. Even paper prototypes are possible. Every time you see collect feedback is there. You know, you empathize, check it. So every time you are going to Check it, you know. Under emphasis, emphasize you have uh, user. You are going to look at the user observation, understand their problem. You know, empathize is getting into one shoes. You know, and then you set uh, 
goals here what to do then you are going to uh, firm up the features by defining it is like a, uh, a design brief and then you go ahead with uh, synthesizing creating solutions uh, brainstorming uh, is one of them but uh, there could be many uh, ways of uh, helping you with uh, uh, ideation you know many times if you ask somebody think they don't know how to think you know so many times i give small experiments i conduct on people um, and uh, we see some people go on thinking and they they produce something there are many people who think one time two time three times and then stop so designers are those professionals who have been taught with tools uh, suppose you are a individual designer how to design now how to think okay there are a lot of tools 40 50 of them and if you are in a group uh, then also you are taught some things so these are all um, the creativity and the thinking exercises which are going to be there uh, one of these days i will take it it's a big uh, you know uh, subject by itself how to think how to design uh, how to ideate how to come up with uh, alternate solutions uh, so this all the focus there brainstorming is one of them you know brainstorming is a team uh, you know exercise wherein you cannot have just one guy by brainstorming so if there is one guy what he has to do so there are some techniques so both of them uh, probably we can uh, discuss some other time is beyond the scope of this prototype here the prototype is validation uh, of this idea mimicking the product see the beautiful word mimicking mimicking the product uh, you know mimicking the product be because you need to uh, evaluate it fantasize it sometimes fantasy is uh, not uh, uh, a common uh, factor you know it is it is it cannot be shared so you need to have something tangible which everyone can relate and uh, they all have one vision about that you know, that is very important so prototype uh, is very essential to validate a design not only to uh, yourself but also with the teams uh, very important and then of course uh, testing gives the actual validation results and then the whole thing goes back this is the design thinking process so everything for me uh, everything is design thinking process uh, it is the, in order to have a business plan you have a design thinking plan in order to go from point a to b you have a design thinking plan you know so it becomes very important to so businesses enterprises all over the world use this you know a time and again uh, for everything everything you know uh, this thing goes on and why this is so because this is the pattern of human thinking which works the best giving best results you know so that's why it is so going now it's very important to see and get a user's perspective see this beautiful you know uh, illustration you know the toy designer has designed a, a, a kind of a um, uh, you know toy which is uh, swirling about the child and child is happy it is beating its hands and legs looking at it and the father and mother are happy you know they are so happy you know looking at it because they are able to see the elephant they are able to see the uh, you know tiger everything a pig and uh, a fox probably what the child sees you can see child sees the back and it is not at all exciting so it is very important to see from a user point of view very very important not only wearing user shoes user's point of view please don the user uh, point of view you know if user says mere ko sasta wala chahiye quality acha hona chahiye uh, is very important because that's what he sees as attractive so if we don't see that then i think uh, we are going to miss the bus so uh, user interaction user experience these are two examples of that the user interaction you see you think uh, uh, you're loving it 
but uh, the user experience is something totally different so it's very important very nice uh, uh, you know summarized in this uh, cartoon uh, one more thing the difference between design and design thinking again design is for individualistic it is about products it is about engineering and all while design thinking is about teams experiences and it is a a combination of tech business and finance in some sense design can be you know likened to invention you know invention uh, while design thinking can be likened to innovation innovation uh, is about reaching to that last user creating wealth not only just by making the product but creating an experience in the uh, user that's very important and so uh, sometimes it is uh, you know they say it's horizontal and vertical but i think in vertical it's very important vertical is the foundation you can see one side you have business the other side you have engineering these two are going to feed the design and what you get is uh, people generally believe in design thinking so you can see it is deeply going into business deeply going to design go deeply going to engineering and that's what we call it as design thinking. Uh, very important uh, to empower people uh, to think differently, make mistakes, and learn. This is, uh, you know, very very important. Many times we don't uh, uh, we say theoretically uh, this is possible, practically we don't support it. But I think that is the need of the hour. So it's a culture, innovation culture has to be inculcated. It has to be supported. Very important. Uh, you see here they are using a paper prototype, you know, and same paper prototype is quite uh, you know uh, effective. Uh, but after this, one can even have a software, you know, a simulation using Corel Draw or uh, you know Adobe. One can create some uh, mock screens and see how it is going to work before actually going for programming. Apps are tested this way, you know. So this is a good example of that. And uh, moving forward, a new designer is uh, one who defends a lot. A new designer, any designer who starts designing, they'll be very defensive about taking any feedback, criticism, you know. But uh, as you uh, become a seasoned designer, you keep uh, uh, taking all types of criticism and also take care of them. There is nothing to hide. So uh, many times we start ideating, and not all ideas are going to be used. You know, first idea is always a bad idea, and uh, it only going to um, give rise to more bad ideas, and all of them going to a dustbin. Mind it, these uh, recycled ideas, no, uh, which are going to re uh, recycling bin. Uh, it's called recycling bin. You know, very interesting. You know, recycling means we have to reuse them. Many times today, thanks to data science, if there is a use to the old ideas which are rejected also. They have a great value for enterprise. So uh, next time when you have an idea, you park it somewhere. You may not use it, but park it somewhere. Very important. We are going to have a data mining. We are going to have a big data analytics. And that is going to yield a lot of things. What it can yield, nobody knows. Because it's called data mine. Mine means you get gold also, you get uh, anything, you can get mud also, you get diamonds also. So mining is uh, there, data mining is a great thing, which is going to come in the future. And of the, all the things, some colorful ideas uh, take uh, fancy and you elect, select one of the ideas and take it forward. And uh, these great ideas take shape and they create 